Welcome to this edition of News Leader. Today is Tuesday, February the 20th, 2024. I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, the annual Duck River watershed cleanup is approaching, tax time is knocking at your door, and Motlow prepares for their performance of Heather's the Musical. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader. Parkview Senior Living, active, independent senior living at its finest. Get ready to make a splash for a cause. The Duck River Watershed Society invites you to its third annual spring cleanup event on Saturday, March 2nd from noon until 3 at the Fire Lake Public Use and Boat Ramp area in Manchester, Tennessee. Be part of the movement for sustainability, health, and education for the Duck River, America's most diverse waterway, home to over 650 aquatic species and water supply for more than 300,000 people. Mark your calendars and register to meet us at River Forge Road on March 2nd. Let's clean up, team up, and make a splash together. Welcome back. The third annual Duck River Watershed Cleanup is rapidly approaching and will take place at noon on March 2nd. News leaders John Gray sat down with Michael Wolford and Mary Irwin to get details on the project. That new project is March 2nd, first Saturday in March from 12 to 3. Right. And this is our third annual trash pickup on Normandy Lake. And so we'll meet at the Fire Lake boat ramp and spend three hours picking up trash around that area and this year we're expecting possibly a hundred volunteers outstanding and, uh, we've got some partners in that uh, bonnaroo works fund tva is going to bring two gentlemen and a trash barge to help us move oh. trash around and bring it back to our large dumpster <clears throat> lkq coffee county middle school Tennessee Duck River Development Agency and Coffee County itself and we're expecting folks from all over scout troops trail life scout troops web school and Coffee County Middle School we um, we will be attending cleanup day um, I teach sixth grade we have three different sixth grade teams so there are all together uh, about 200, uh, approximately 200 wow, students. that's wonderful. Um, that will be working on projects that are centered around the Duck River watershed. So uh, a big part of Tennessee State standards for sixth grade in, encompasses um, watershed and the water cycle and how climate and weather are affected by those things. And so we are doing projects based off of our local area they're going to be doing um, some public service announcements, um, and then they'll also be doing QR code presentations that will be available at the cleanup day for people to learn a little bit more about the effects of uh, climate and <clears throat> excuse me, climate and weather on our watershed here. Well, I'm I'm very very glad to hear that that type of education is going on in our schools and and uh, you know sometimes I look back at the stuff that that I was taught whoa many years ago and I think well I wonder if these kids are even getting taught that kind of stuff and from time to time I have someone like you come on here that makes me realize that yes they are where they're still learning about how how a, a drop of rain on top of a mountain becomes a river and a lake and the things in between and how we as citizens need to make sure they stay clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we help lots of folks show up. Uh, we need volunteers to come help clean up Normandy Lake. We hope people come be involved and uh, as a member of the board of the Duck River Watershed Society, we hope you go to our website and register for this event and show up and come early. We're going to have some food just before noon and then we'll send you out on your way to help, help us pick up some trash. 
After these messages, we'll be right back. My husband was diagnosed with a spinal infection. He lost his ability to swallow and the movement of his legs. I couldn't turn over in bed, I couldn't walk, I couldn't eat. They were just wonderful in the treatment and care they gave my husband. I uh, regained my mobility where I was able to go home. It is miraculous. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Since the moment you were born, I've made a thousand wishes. Wishes for your future in a world that's changing fast. Do play and laugh. Do win and lose. So do it all with confidence, kindness, and strength. And always do your best to remember that no matter what you do in this life, what matters to me is that you keep doing. Welcome back. At the recent Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce's membership dinner, local favorite Emil's Restaurant was awarded the Small Business of the Year honor. Most of you know my first job was at Sonic Drive-In. So <laughs> that's where Jay and I met and we worked Sonic over 20 years together, full-time and part-time. So you could say that food is part of our love story. And it's a source of enjoyment. So when we go out to dine, we watch the restaurant operate. Is the food and service consistent? Are the diners locals? And if so, I need to talk to them before we leave. We're, while Jay waits at the door. <laughs> and are they visitors? Sometimes we feel like we're at Area 51. We don't know anybody. But there are nights that we see food derailments. And so we can see where it began, and sometimes we see where it ends. And in our day, we would just laugh and ride that crazy train till closing, because that's just part of food. So you're probably catching on that the Small Business Award is one of our local Tullahoma restaurants. And this restaurant is a go-to for me. When I'm taking a realtor or a customer to lunch, because dining there is delightful. It offers atmosphere as well as foods you begin to crave and foods that I think about. When can I have that again? <laughs> the food industry's tough, yet I could not help but think how amazing it is that a French restaurant could open in a historic Tullahoma home and be one of the most iconic restaurants for the past 23 years. Emile's Bistro and Lounge is that restaurant. <laughs> George's and Tammy Martin are those owners. So I'm going to tell you a little bit that you probably didn't know. You? Chef Georges Martin was born and raised in Lyon, France, the food capital of the world. And Georges followed in his father's footsteps and pursued a career in cooking after attending a culinary preparatory school located on the border of Lake Geneva. Following his preparatory studies, Georges completed an apprenticeship at Le Hotel Bellevue in the Normandy region of France. He then set his sights on joining his father, who'd settled in the U.S. His first U.S. position was an all-French kitchen at the Cherokee Town Club in Atlanta, where he quickly learned that to excel in his career, he would have to expand his English. He soon accepted a position at the Stouffer's Waverly Hotel in Atlanta, where he was quickly promoted to Chef Cornette. After elevating through numerous positions at top Atlanta restaurants such as Buckhead Life Groups 103 West and Panos and Paul and having served as executive chef at Chef's Cafe in Buckhead, George, George's was recruited by Tom and Ann Cousins to launch the newly remodeled and reestablished East Lake Golf Club. In 2001, after six privileged years as the executive chef at East Lake, serving Atlanta's top corporate executives and famed golfers, as well as their families, 
George has moved to Tennessee with his wife and children for the opportunity to be closer to his wife's parents and to open his own restaurant. George's and Tammy opened Emil's on December 8, 2001, where since that time they have built a stellar reputation for delivering outstanding culinary creations. The Martins are generous to our community, donating gift certificates to nonprofits for fundraising. I hear they buy peaches from the high school fundraisers. <laughs> and we have peach inspired dishes from that. And I remember the day when Emil's tomato basil soup was sold by Sunrise Rotary. That was my favorite fundraiser. <laughs> and um, that is just a few of the things that they have done for our community in the name of fundraising and generosity. But please join me in congratulating George's and Tammy Martin with the Meals Bistro and Lounge as our 2024 Small Business of the Year. Well, I'll start by saying this was a family effort and it is still a family effort. Adam was six years old, crawling under the, the basement of the restaurant, running wires. Tammy's dad helped us tremendously. He has free food for life. He knows it <laughs> and enjoys it. And Emily just, you know, popped herself upstairs and made funny faces at customers who tipped her really well for making funny faces. <laughs> but most importantly, I want to thank every one of y'all here supporting us and without y'all we wouldn't be here and no this is not a french restaurant had it been a french restaurant we would have not survived <laughs> two weeks in <laughs> thank you all so very much thank you for recognizing him because he works tirelessly very hard and has done this for more than 40 years so he's very deserving <laughs> We'll be right back after these messages. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. It's your home, it's your dream. Great on testing, keep it healthy and clean. Make it green, green, green. Making it green starts from the ground up, so make sure the air in your home is healthy for your family to breathe. Test your home for the presence of radon. Go to epa.gov slash radon. Make it green, green, green. Welcome back. At the 2024 Tullahoma Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony, the THS 1998 Ladies Golf Team was honored. Mary Elizabeth Bryce and Kristen Lynch Nichols are being recognized as the 1998 State High School Ladies Golf Champions. So, really, how hard could it be to hit a little white ball 1.7 inches in diameter straight, several hundred yards, with a slender piece of metal about 40 inches long, into a little hole, four inches, 18 times, while walking about four miles in the sun, while a lot of people are watching every swing. I mean, really. Well, it's really hard. It takes mental preparation, Focus, concentration, calmness, strength, discipline, practice, and power. All that and more was on display when Mary Elizabeth Bryce and Kristen Lynch won the 1998 State High School Ladies Golf Championship with a two-day total of 316. Miss Bryce started playing golf at the age of nine after traveling with her parents and older brother to his golf tournaments around the state. She credits her brother with seeing her potential and teaching her the finer points of the game. Her personal best is a 69, and she's made several holes in one. While in high school, 
She was voted friendliest and was on the basketball homecoming court. Ms. Bryce went on to play golf at the University of Arkansas for two years before graduating from the University of Georgia. She resides in Atlanta and is an optometrist. She and her husband have one daughter, Sienna. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present Ms. Bryce as the 1990, I'm sorry, as the newest inductee into the Telemus Sports Hall of Fame. Okay, so God may have given me the gift of golf, but he did not give me the gift of public speaking. So I'd love to say I disagree with what everyone else said, but I actually wrote something up that I want to read tonight. Um, I feel very blessed to be here tonight. This is such an honor, and thank you to everyone that made tonight happen. Everything is perfect. I really appreciate all of you being here. The love and support growing up I received from my family was more than anyone could ask for. I want to thank my mom, Stephanie Bryce, who worked tirelessly and endlessly to get my brother and I coordinated in all of our golf tournaments and drive us all over God's green earth to play golf. My dad, Michael Bryce, for all his generosity supporting all of our golf tournaments and his selfless and wavering support. Um, I'd like to thank my brother, Michael Bryce, who taught me how to play golf all the fun times we had playing together almost every night till we couldn't see our ball anymore. My teammate, Kristen Lynch Nichols, and her family for all their support throughout the years playing junior golf. Coach Phelps and all our family and friends for their love and support throughout the years. I'm most thankful to God for giving me the gift of golf. Golf wasn't just a sport to our family. It gave us, it was a way of life that gave us happiness, joy, friends, hope, patience, and sometimes tears, <laughs> concentration, laughter, and something to do every day. We never got bored growing up because we always had golf. It taught me things like how to manage my emotions, celebrate the wins, and work harder and learn from the losses. And although golf isn't a part of my life anymore, the memories I made, the people I met, and the foundation and the life lessons it taught me set the foundation for the life I know now, and I will always be grateful for all of it. I hope one day my daughter, Sienna, finds her passion, gives it her all, and succeeds to the best of her ability so she can always look back and be thankful for all the people in her life that have helped her succeed like I am thankful for all of you. Thank you so much for this honor and support throughout the years. To receive this award after moving away 24 years ago is not only an honor, but it is a tribute to how supportive and special Tullahoma is. You really can't pick a better place to raise a family. And I'm thankful I had the opportunity to grow up here. Thank you. Miss Nichols started playing golf at the age of eight, although her official golf coach was the late Dale Phelps a previous Hall of Fame inductee, her official golf coach was her dad, Chuck Lynch, a professional golfer. As a result, Miss Nichols was always on the golf course, so playing the game at a high level just came natural. In high school, she competed in basketball, cross country, and track. She played golf at MTSU. She and her husband, Matt, live in Tullahoma with her two children, Jack and Katie Grace. On the last day of the state tournament, on the last hole, Kristen Lynch had a six-foot putt to make. If she made it, she and Elizabeth, Mary Elizabeth Bryce, would be the state champions. Talk about pressure. But in the moment, she did not realize the importance of the putt. She made it. State champions big celebration. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present the newest inductee of the Telemus Sports Hall of Fame, Kristen Lynch Nichols.
so much for this honor. It really is a privilege to be here tonight. Um, like Mary Elizabeth, public speaking is not my thing, so I'm going to do my best. Um, but the two people I want to thank the most, and we're apparently emotional people um, in the room tonight, are my parents. I could not have had the success that I had in golf without them. I told myself I wasn't going to cry. Um, but my dad, it truly really was a privilege getting to play golf because I got to spend every day with my dad at his job. And now, as an adult, I realize what a privilege that was. My mom, now having children of my own that I towed around to all their sports, I realized what a sacrifice it was that she made taking us to our golf tournaments, me and my brother, having to coordinate it all all summer long, um, getting up early, making sure we had all of our drinks and snacks all along the golf course. Um, she was top-notch caddy and chauffeur. So I just really appreciate this honor. Um, I'm thankful to have grown up in Tullahoma. It is such a supportive community of youth sports and so thankful that my children get to experience that now. Thank you. We'll be right back with more news after these messages. We teach Parkinson's patients how to move big and not let the Parkinson's slow them down. I've had patients I've treated in-house that could not even stand up, could not roll over in the bed, left the facility walking with a walker, have come back to us and outpatient and continued their big program and are now completely, you know, handling life. The success of the program is just phenomenal. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then, boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Welcome back. Montlow State Community College announces the presentation of Heather's the Musical on April 18th, 19th, and 20th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 for anyone who has a Montlow ID and $10 for all other attendees. The play is intended for audiences 16 and over as the story contains mature themes and situations as well as adult language. Heather the Musical is based on the 1989 film starring Winona Ryder and Christian Slater. The dark comedy follows Veronica Sawyer, a student at Westerberg High School. Veronica is a member of the most popular clique at her school, led by three girls all named Heather. When Veronica abandons the clique to date the mysterious new student JD, everything in her life takes a dark turn. Based on the film written by Daniel Waters, Heather's The Musical was originally directed off-Broadway by Andy Fickman and choreographed by Marguerite Derricks. To RSVP or learn more information, visit Motlow's event calendar at motlow.edu slash calendar or call 931-393-1709. Well, it's past Valentine's Day and time to embrace your one true love, filing your tax return. The IRS has prepared this video to help ease you into the tumultuous relationship. You can get ready now to do your taxes. You can always visit irs.gov slash get ready anytime for more information. Here are five things you can do now to make filing your taxes go smoothly. First, set up an IRS online account at irs.gov slash account. Here you can access your tax records. You can make and view payments. You can also view or create payment plans and see how much tax you owe, if any. Second, gather and organize your tax records. This includes gathering and keeping important forms and information handy, such as W-2s you will get from your employer and 1099s from your bank, apps, and other payers in January. Also, keep end-of-year documents, such as Form 1095-A, the health insurance marketplace statement. Third, before the year is over, make sure you're having enough tax withheld or find out if you need to make an additional estimated tax payment. The easiest way to do this is by using the tax withholding estimator at irs.gov slash withholding. Fourth, individual taxpayer identification numbers, also called ITINs, need to be renewed only if they are expired and if they're needed on a U.S. tax return. Finally, want a faster refund? Filing electronically and direct depositing your refund into your bank account is the quickest and safest way to get your refund. 
If you don't have a bank account, you may want to set one up. To learn more, visit irs.gov slash get ready. And don't forget to tune in to this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. On this week's show, we'll hear about the Imagination Library of Coffee County's annual Green Eggs and Ham Breakfast. Hope will stop by to talk about the taste of Tullahoma, and Jackie Duncan will bring us some Tullahoma history. All this and more on this week's Living. And stay with us. We'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. Hi, my name is Ringo. Here at Barkview Senior Living, they're human friendly. That's why I love it here, and so does my senior human. When they want a bite, they get chef-prepared meals, and so do I. Movies in the theater, day trips, walks on the trail, and other senior humans to play with. The grass and the grounds are exquisite. It's everything my human needs to be healthy and active. Barkview. <clears throat> a Parkview Senior Living. For your dog's best friend, you. Get ready to make a splash for a cause. The Duck River Watershed Society invites you to its third annual spring cleanup event on Saturday, March 2nd from noon until 3 at the Fire Lake Public Use and Boat Ramp area in Manchester, Tennessee. Be part of the movement for sustainability, health, and education for the Duck River, America's most diverse waterway, home to over 650 aquatic species and water supply for more than 300,000 people. Mark your calendars and register to meet us at River Forge Road on March 2nd. Let's clean up, team up, and make a splash together. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this date. Our record high was in 2018 at 76 degrees. Record low was in 1958 at 7 degrees. The average high for this day is 54, and the average low is 33. Clear tonight with a low of 36. Sunny skies expected for Wednesday with a high of 64 and a low of 50. And rain moving in for Thursday with a high of 63 and a low of 45. And that's our News Leader Report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evenings at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. for News Leader. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Stay safe. Have a great evening.